What's up guys, Zami here and you're watching Heavy Metal Pump. So today on my way home from work, I swung by XLCS and kind of picked up something. Let me go grab it. Quite sure you guys would know from the thumbnail, but I brought home a Lost Abyss booster box. This is a very impromptu purchase. I initially was just planning to get a couple packs, but I figured, you know what? Screw it, let's just get a whole box because first of all, Giratina, one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. In fact, I have plushie of him right over here. And seeing how it's a set based pretty much around Giratina, I figured, you know what, let's just go for it. And secondly, there is a really gorgeous alternate art Giratina V and I, I must have it. Whether it's English or Japanese, I really don't care. I, I really just want that card. So screw it, let's just open up a whole booster box of it. This is my first Japanese booster box, uh, let me go grab a knife. So yeah, like I said, this is my first time opening a Japanese booster box. I, I don't really collect Japanese cards per se, I do open a few Japanese packs every now and then just for the fun of it, but I don't really focus too heavily on collecting Japanese cards. I love the quality of it, it's just that uh, getting English packs just makes more sense just because I can actually play them in decks and stuff and you know what, with Japanese cards seeing how I don't understand Japanese it just gives me extra work to try to remember the effects and stuff but anyways enough of me rambling let's just get the box open let me you know what let, let me try have it up as if it were being displayed at a shop Ooh, nice all right got the flap in and there we have it a Japanese booster box so Japanese booster boxes have 30 packs compared to 36 from an English one and I, I really just want to point out, I, I love the fact that Japanese booster boxes just take up so much less space compared to English ones. I know you get less cards per pack in a Japanese one, but still, this is just way more efficient and cuts down on cardboard and stuff. I don't know, I just really like how Japanese sets present themselves over English ones. Anyways, you know what, enough of me rambling once again. Let's just rip into the first pack. That was not a good rip. So yeah, uh, like I mentioned, I, I'm really after the Dialga V Alternate Art. It, sorry, I said Dialga, it's Giratina actually. So yeah, I really wouldn't mind pretty much any Giratina card from the set. So yeah, one card to the front and let's see what's in the first pack. We have a Chorus, Sunken, Slugma, Tynamo and a... Oh, Mimikyu. Okay, so I guess we didn't get any... Yeah, they, we didn't even get a rare in the first pack, which is fine. You win some, you lose some. Let's go for another one. Also, seeing how there's only 5 cards per pack, this opening hopefully should go way faster than my usual openings. So they're kind of tough to open. I never open Japanese packs well. Should probably look into doing that better. Right, one card to the front and let's see what's in pack number 2. We have an Electros, a Molga, Horsey, a Swellix, and the last card is... Ooh, what's the name again? Delphox? Delphox V? That's cool. That is very nice. Let me just put that to the side. So yeah, I also want to point out that I might forget a couple names here and there just because they're also in Japanese. And again, I don't, I don't read Japanese. Maybe I'll put the box to this side and then yeah, you can look at the hits over there. Alright, pack number 3 was it? Yeah, I kind of remember someone saying how you should open Japanese packs from the bottom. That actually works pretty well. Alright, one to the front. And let's see what's in this one. We have a Nuzleaf, Durant, that's a very nice Durant art. Feral Seed, Banieri. Oh! <laughs> Yo! Kyurem VMAX, that is awesome! I forgot that there's a Kyurem in this set. Yeah, that is, that is really nice. That is super sick. Kyurem also one of my favorite legendaries. I just really like Gen 5 legendaries. Right, another one. I should probably do the opening from the bottom. I'm probably gonna forget the names of the supporter cards if I, if I were to get any. So yeah, I really do want to apologize in advance for that. Right, ooh, Stone Jenner. And we have the Lost Zone effect over here, that's really cool. That's really nice. I, I really like the colors for the Lost Zone. How Lucha, a Phantom, Banieri, and the last card is uh, some energy card. I forgot what this does. I remember it being quite a playable card, but I forgot the name. And I forgot what it does. Alright, on to the next one. 
I kind of already lost track how many packs I've opened. So far, we've gotten two hits. The Delphox V. I think there should be a full art version as well of the Delphox. And the Kyurem V Max. Super nice. Right. Next one. Oh, I remember this being a very playable card, but I forgot the name. If this is a very playable card, is what I'm trying to say. We have a Fungus, Finian, a Lopani, and the last card is Horsey. A Cedra, sorry, Horsey. No rares in that pack again, but it's fine. Alright, one to the front. And let's go. We have a Dracloak. Is that Dracloak? No, it's Dracloak. That crack cloak, not dragon pop. We have nine tails, a C dot, a Tynamo, and the last card is Ooh, Aerodactyl Vista, that is awesome. Another very playable card from the new set. Alright, so far very happy with the the pulls. Haven't gotten any hollow rest though. As I say that I kinda have a feeling this pack might have a hollow rest. So let's see if that rings true. Alright. Uh some stadium card which I'm assuming has something to do with the Lost Zone. Don't really know what the name is. C dot. Uh, Fanpy. Slurpuff. And a Dracloak. So yeah, if you think you can remember every Pokemon's name, I I dare you to <laughs> open the cards in Japanese, provided you can't read Japanese at least. That, that really tests you whether you can remember Pokemon names or not. Right, uh, this vacuum thingy. I remember something to do with the Lost Zone once again. E God damn it, I can't remember the name. Feral Seed. Oh my god, I can't remember the names. Oh, <laughs> we got it. Oh, Giratina V, non full art. That is awesome. Yes. I'm gonna put the Giratina V down here. Alright. So far, doing pretty well with the pulls. I, I really lost track how many packs there's been. I'm just gonna keep going. That is nice. I kind of wish it was the full art, not gonna lie, but again, I did say that I'd be happy with getting any of the Giratina cards from this set. Right, let's see what's inside this one. We have a Hypno, Beldum, Fletchling! That is the name, Fletchling. I can't remember if this is Binacle or Barbarical, and the last card is... Ooh, our first Hollow Rare, a Hollow Kingdra. That's nice. I will put this in its own pile. Let's go for another one. One to the front, and let's see what we have. We have a Mechago, Dupida, Drippy, uh, Sandy Guest, and the last card is. Ooh, Hollow Metagross. That is nice as well. Alright, another one. Okay, we have a Toxapex, Drippy, Finian. Venonet and the last card is Nuzleaf Non. Uh, is it just an uncommon tree? It's not even a rare. Mr. Nipples. So yeah, I've, I've not placed my pre-order for Lost Origin yet. I really should, but I think I'll probably do that next month. Alright, anyways, next pack we have a Krokorok. Polygon. Ooh, I really like the art for this Polygon. That's nice. Vulpix. Howlucha. And a Venomoth. Yeah, I think Japanese packs, just open them from the bottom. Works way better. Okay, one to the front, and let's go. Uh, I don't know the name of the supporter card. Baby Slugma. Fanpy. Ooh, Polygon 2, that's cool. A Mercago, uh, oh yeah, Mercago is the last card. Alright, so no rares in that pack either. Kids are kind of slowing down, but it's fine. I don't really know what the average pull rate would be for a Japanese booster box. Again, that only, there is only like 30 packs, so I don't think it's going to be that high. But we shall see. Right, next pack, uh, Fantina, I think. I think that's the name from Gen 4. Shop it with its tongue out, that's kind of weird. Spinder, Horsey, and ooh, Aerodactyl V. Nice, that goes very nicely with the V star. I don't know where to put this. Let's put it over there. Next one. Okay, one to the front, and let's go. We have a Matang. Well, it's not in focus. Okay, Matang, Sunken, Chincho, 
Fletch in there. Fletch in there. And the last card is... Ooh, Galarian Perserker V. That is nice. So far, we've not gotten uh, full art or anything. So far, we, I think the best hits were like the V Star and V Max, and of course, I, I still really like the Giratina V, even though it's not full art. But hopefully, we get something a bit more spicy soon. Right, one to the front, and let's go. We have a Dugong in Didi, Sandile. Sandy Guess and the last card is... Ooh! I think this is Barbarico. Barbarico Holographic. That's cool. Uh, I kind of want to try to count how many is left. Okay, it's still quite a number. I think we're probably like halfway through the box. Okay, one to the front. We have a... What is this guy's name? Crap. Stunfisk. Galarian Stunfisk. Beldum. Sandy Guest, a Dupider, and the last card is a Cedra Uncommon. So it kind of throws me off that uh, with Japanese packs, sometimes you don't even get a rare. Which is really sad because there's only 5 cards per pack. Even though Japanese packs do go for cheaper than English packs, still kind of hits harder when you don't get even a rare. Even if it's not a holographic rare. Kinda feels rough. Alright, next one we have a Stone Journal. We have one, that's cool. Drowsy. Porgon 2 and the last card is a forgot the name. It's from Gen 7. It's from Alola. Remember the effect being pretty cool, but I forgot the name. I'm gonna try not fester too long if I don't remember the Pokemon's names. Just because I wanna keep the opening moving. Right, next one we have a Cramorant. Oh, I didn't even know there's a Cramorant. We have a Ferrothorn. The art though. Yo, that is one sick looking Ferrothorn. A Binacle. Ooh, a Raconet. And the last card is a Polygon Z non-holographic. Oh wait, it's not even it's not even a red, it's just an uncommon. Okay, next one. So far we've not been getting much hits. Right, so uh, the energy thingy, seal, electric. Yeah, I think this is electric. Swirlix, and a buffalant. Okay, one to the front, and let's go. We have a cramorant, sunken, uh, thingy, fletchling, and ooh, Pidgeot V. Nice. Kind of running out of space. Maybe I'll put it over there. Maybe I'll shift it up slightly. Maybe I'll put the holographic hits outside. Okay, so far that's 7 pulls. Wow. That's like the average pull rate of an English booster box. And this has less packs. Okay, next one. We have... Ooh, Talonflame. Nice. Vulpix. Electric. Horsey and A... Ooh, Dragapult Holographic. Nice. Cool beans. We only got like four holographic rares. Actually, now that I think of it, all the rares are holographic, so... Yeah, that means we only got four rare cards, which is kind of weird. Because the like V cards kind of oh, outnumber it. Right, next one we have a Waylord. Sandile. Indeedee, let me focus it. A seal and the last card is Ooh, Trevenant Holographic. That is nice. I really like how holographics look in the Japanese sets just cause they have the foil border as well. Kinda wish English English sets followed suit. Okay, next pack. Have a Amoongus, Sandy Guest, Drowsy, Emolga, and this guy, I forgot what this guy does. I forgot the, the first of all, I forgot the supporter card's name as again. But I remember it, the effect being pretty damn useful. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, let me just do. Hey, you know what? Let me just get all the packs out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six packs left. Well, last six packs of the opening. 
Let's put that to one pile. Right, that means we've opened up 24 packs and have gotten 7 hits. That's actually not bad. Is this normal for a Japanese booster box? Because again, this is my first time opening a Japanese booster box. I don't really watch openings of Japanese sets either, so not really sure. Alright, we have uh, a guy from Scream. <laughs> Porygon. Ooh, Dawn Fan. That's cool. Shuppet. And Luminion. Cool. Uh, you know what? Let's open the one from the middle. One to the front, and let's go. We have a Electros. I can't remember which one is Electros, which one is Electric. Venonet, Ferroseed, Lopani, and. Ooh, Sableye Holographic. Yo, the art on the Sableye. Super duper cool. Ooh, Burnett, Phantom, Wilma, Chincho, and the last card is... Oh, what is this name? Spectria? Oh, is this Glastria? Forgot which one's which, but the the one for Ice Rider Cataracts. Holographic. Super cool. Literally super cool. Get it? Because it's an ice type Pokemon. Okay, one to the front. We have a god damn what's the name? Sunflora? Is it? Is it Sunflora? I forgot. Swirlix. Spinder. A lantern and the last card is. Whew, a golden vacuum cleaner. Golden Dyson. Yo, that is nice. That is nice. I guess that's the secret rare for, for the box, so. Let's see what's in the last two packs. We might still get something spicy, I don't know. But hey, at least we got a golden card from the box. That is nice. Alright, second last pack. We have a two box thingy, Chincho, C Dot, Beldum, and a Wheelot. Alright, last pack. Are we gonna get any last pack magic? Let's see. Okay, one to the front. Okay, last pack magic. We have a Burnett, Nine Tails, Tynamo. Fanpy and the last card is Matang. Uncommon. Alright, let me wrap up the hits real quick. Alright, so from the Lost Abyss booster box, we pull a Delphox V non full art, the Curum V Max, Aerodactyl V Star, Aerodactyl V non full art, Giratina V non full art, Galarian Berserker V non full art, Pidget V non full art, and the Golden Vacuum thingy. I Again, I, I really do apologize for not remembering the names of some cards. But yeah, re very nice secret, right? I will gladly take this. So yeah, those are the hits from my first ever Japanese booster box, Lost Abyss. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna end the video over here. Hope you liked the video, and once again, I really do apologize for not remembering some of the cards' names. Also, do let me know if you enjoy openings of Japanese sets. Maybe I'll try to do this more frequently in the future. Aside from that, I'm still waiting for some of the Pokemon Go stuff to arrive. I have pre-ordered the ETB as well as the Radiant EV box, so hopefully those will arrive in the next couple weeks, so you can definitely expect a video on those. Other than that, like, subscribe, all that YouTube nonsense, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.